these are the things that are allowed wetsuits and board shorts and all that but this not so much if you're somebody that wears socks in the pool that that's frowned upon here makes sense Hey folks, and welcome back to the Pattaya Thailand Total Luxury Resort Experience. If you remember from last episode, we actually started this then. We went here to the to the Royal Cliff Beach Resort and Hotel right up here, and we checked in. So just to refresh your memory, I'll show you what we're doing here. Now, if you haven't watched this, uh, the part one or the beginning part of this, I'll go ahead and uh, post a link up in the upper right-hand corner right now. And then at the end of the video, there'll be another link for it, just so you don't lose place. But we did check in. We took an in-depth view of the guest room, and we began looking at some of the grounds. But we didn't get too far because we were hungry. We went right down here, uh, right down here at the end of the beach of their private beach, and we had a lovely meal. So yeah, there it is. So that's all in part one. But today. We're going to continue our, our journey around this resort and try to see everything we can. There is a lot to see because this is a whole campus here. There's the convention center right up there in front of us. There's another hotel that has more pools and fitness center. And we've got a lot of things to look at, a lot of places to go. So bring you back to episode one. We had just finished our meal there on the beach and we jumped in the elevator. There's an elevator right there by the restaurant, and that takes us up to a great big fancy pool deck. So they've got a couple pools up here, and well, you'll see. Let's just take a quick look at this, and then we'll go look at the rest of the resort. to the front desk you can you can take a golf cart kind of like a big golf cart over to one of the other buildings where they have the fitness center so we'll see if we can do that and then I'll I, I take a little ride around here because when I came in the battery was dead in my GoPro it must have turned itself on in my bag that happens sometimes and I have extra batteries, but I forgot them at home. So when it rains, it pours. So we'll see what we can do. I just noticed they got, they got ATMs right in here off the lobby. That's, they got three of them. That's a good thing. So you have everything you need here. And there's no like, 7-Eleven, you're not going to run down the street to 7-Eleven and grab a toasty. That's kind of one thing about being here. Once you're here, you're kind of here. Because just to get out of the resort, it's like a long way. But three ATMs. This is where we came in earlier, I think. I don't see the golf cart. When we came in, the golf cart was parked over here by the, um, right over here by the security guard. But it's gone. Right over here. That's the exhibition hall, convention and exhibition hall. So that's nestled right in here amongst all those resorts. Kind of a captive audience for conventioneers and uh, people going to the exhibitions. We got all these resorts. What do you call it? By fitness, am I? Fitness, Mike? No, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> All we gotta do is wait for a minute and we can go to the fitness. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. I feel safe. <laughs> Wow. What do you call? Bye, my fitness, man. Okay. 
Yeah, so they call it the fitness, but what it really is is more or less a kind of a whole recreational area. There's a racket center there, tennis, squash, another big elaborate pool. You'll see when we get there, but it's more than just a fitness center. They're on the way to the fitness center, riding around campus in the kind of a big overgrown golf cart. It's not a golf cart. You couldn't take this on a golf course, don't get me wrong, but it's in that vein. It's open air. It's got seats. But this thing's as, as big as like a cargo van. So that didn't take long. And here we are, looks like they got four tennis courts. Or three, I'm sorry. I can't count today. The banyan tree. Oh wow, check this out. There's the pool. Look at all these little these little umbrella things down here. Wow. Very nice. Well we'll have to we'll have to go down there and take a look. If I can figure out how to get down there. This is a bar, but it's closed. Oh, reception. Ah. Wow. Look at that. So I'm out. We're going to go to the gym. The gym's up here. Oh, I see. There it is. Gym. Wait, dim sum. Can I? Uh, this one at the Panorama restaurant. Panorama, okay. We, we just eat this one, Brizio. Brizio or seafood, right? We just eat, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had fish. <laughs> so you stay with us or you yeah. come outside? Yeah, I stayed at uh, Royal Cliff. Uh, uh -huh. Alright, you just checked in, right? Uh, two, three hours ago. Two, three hours, yes. Uh, this is uh, our fitness inside the hub machine for exercise. Oh. Class, yoga class, Zumba, dancing. Oh. I think your wife maybe would like. <laughs> She's not my wife. <laughs> really? This is so cool. yeah. <laughs> Wow, very nice. and cool in here. <laughs> we gotta we gotta go see this pool. Kinda dark in the gym, but nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> your room number, please? My room number is uh, 9046. Yeah, I'm not sure why she needed my room number. Maybe she had to sign me in or something, but despite there being people staying at the resort, virtually nobody ventured up here. I was well, there was one other person I saw, but that was about it. And I don't know if that's the same during normal times, but I would suspect that only a small portion of the guests make it up here because you do have that great big elaborate fancy pool at at the uh, at the at the hotel you're staying at. So why come up here just for a pool? But the racket sports are here, so very nice. I almost like this pool better than the other one. I like how the water looks real deep because it's dark. Gives the illusion of it being deep. It's probably just the bottom of the swimming pool is painted a darker color. Somebody cop. Somebody cop. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'll warn you guys. These are the things that are allowed wetsuits and board shorts and all that, but this, not so much. 
So if you were going to wear your thong, um, just don't, just don't. Or white underwear. I didn't notice that that was a thing. And also your socks. Um, if you're somebody that wears socks in the pool, that, that's frowned upon here. Makes sense. neat. I, I don't know that I've ever seen a pool that kind of meandered these different levels. You got one level of pool here. This is down a step. You got this level of pool. And then this is down another step. So you got like three different levels. It's very creative the way this is designed and built. You got these little features where you go under stuff or inside the inside little coves. And these really nice umbrellas that are actually built, you don't have to worry about them. I mean, they think these, these things blow away and leak and everything else, but really nice. They, they take the extra effort and build these little umbrella deals all over, the, all over the joint here. All the way out here, if you, want, if you wanted some privacy, get away from the pool and the screaming kids. Right there. So the swimming pool, gym, tennis, squash, pool racket center. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, wonderful facilities. So, definitely worth coming up here. Especially if you're, if you're staying here for a while. I can't see how you wouldn't come up here to this place. Enjoy an afternoon. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> just, just don't wear your socks in the pool. That's all they ask. Or your thong. Uh, or white underwear. Uh, <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <bye-bye. laughs> oh, by the way. <laughs> uh, so this is the convention hall. Peach. And there's the big condo building that they had to stop building. Apparently the story is it, they built it and the top of it was going to be higher than the head of the Buddha on the hill. And it can't be taller than the, the, the head of the Buddha, so they had to stop building it. That's one of the stories, but I, I hear they're going to start demolishing it soon. So that'll kind of change the, the skyline around here. I think that would probably make a lot of people happy. It's been sitting there for a while. So here we are back at the hotel. Now, there is apparently a spa in the in the hotel or building next to ours, but that is currently under renovation, so it's closed right now. Okay. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> back at the Royal Cliff Beach Hotel. I think we made the rounds. There's probably more to see. Now, some of it is closed. Uh, some of it is thought I had a temperature of 41 degrees because the camera, the, the scanner read the, these cameras get hot um, when, when, when I'm recording it's, I don't know, however it gets hot. It's like a computer processor inside. 
and the, the scanner read the heat coming off the camera and they thought I had a temperature. <laughs> so I had to give the camera to V, turn it off, give the camera to V, and then I was 35.8. 35.8 is, is good, very healthy, very healthy indeed. Again. <laughs> we got we got sandwiches here, pastries, chocolates, but all, all the good stuffs on the other side. There's all the good stuff up there. I don't think this would be live NFL. I guess it's like a replay. But it looks like Dallas is up by one point. <laughs> this the breakfast restaurant. Panorama. Also, that was the one that had the dim sum. At the other place, they had an advertisement for dim sum. And that was it. You can see, we got here early. There was nobody here. Now people are coming in left, right, and center. But that is the whole campus right there. We'll go up to the room and... And then maybe I'll go down to the pool. I'm tired of all this looking around. So we'll find something else to do. <laughs> so there you go. That is the Pattaya Thailand Total Luxury Resort Experience. The conclusion. Now I'm, I apologize if you missed part one. As a reminder, I will put a link at the end of, at the end of this episode to the first episode in case you missed it. But stay in there. I actually had an idea that if if you're coming to Pattaya for holiday, you could almost make a holiday within a holiday. Regardless of where you're staying, book a couple nights at a resort like that and just kind of unplug for a while. Uh, enjoy the, the, the private beach, the, the big elaborate pools, all the recreation. They've got every kind of restaurant you want there, food, everything. You don't have to go anywhere. And you just kind of take a break, like a two-day break in, say, a two- or three-week holiday, kind of right in the middle. Not a bad idea. Maybe the rest of the time you're at a hotel that's not quite as grand. But at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode off here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. Oh, you're not